morning ladies and welcome back to the channel for our fourth new holiday glow guide workout. Today is all about the abs, the waist, and the thighs where I'm going to help you burn deep into the core and into the inner and outer thighs so that you can get a flatter stomach and stronger sexy thighs all at home. For equipment today, all you'll be needing is a light to medium resistance band. However, if you do not have one, please don't worry about it. You can do every exercise without. Now grab your guide from the links in the description. That's going to help you stay fit all the way through the month of December. Smash that thumbs up button for me, subscribe to the channel, and let's get ready for a really good burn. All right, everybody, I'm definitely ready for today's workout. I think it's got a really nice flow to it. So in terms of our format today, we've got three circuits in total to cover. Our exercises will be 45 seconds in length with 15 seconds rest. You're just gonna follow along with me. I'll get more into what our circuits are gonna be, but let's just get started with our workout. So first exercise today, I want you to come into a tabletop position on the mat. So for this, we come down, we relax the shoulders and bring the hands behind the head. As we exhale, we bring one leg up at a time. From here, we're gonna lift the chest. We're extending one leg out on a 45 degree angle coming back in and alternating the sides starting our workout in three in two in one so squeeze that belly button in for me we extend that leg pointing that toe and alternate each side one two three four five six seven eight great job so extending that toe nice and long not coming further down down than 45 degrees because right now we're just activating waking up those abs we've got about three minutes of activation here and then things are going to really intensify keep going for me so for our circuits today our first 10 minutes like i mentioned before is into the abs and the waistline no equipment Circuit number two, we're gonna pick that band up, work into the inner and outer thighs as well as the obliques. And then circuit number three, keeping that band on, working deeper into the thighs and abs. It's gonna be a mashup. Last one on that right and bring it in for me. Now from here, I wanna stay exactly where you are. However, this time bringing the arms out towards the side. Next exercise, we as we extend, we clap under the leg that's bent, come back in and alternate the side. Let's go. So extending reaching under trying to tap those index fingers and coming back down controlling the motion slow controlled movement squeezing those abs the entire time so breathe out as you come up inhale as you come down extending those arms back and reaching under so this should be firing up your core now if you can let's try to take that leg a little bit further down as we come up activating that core even more great job everyone try to get the shoulders up off the mat another six another five four more four three last one on either side and bring it on down all right give those knees a little bit of a hug for me we're gonna roll up into our v-sit position now from here i want those feet planted nice and flat we're gonna bring the arms in front we're working one side only as we kick the left we open the left coming back into center let's go kick open into center one two three four now lean back a little bit further still squeezing those abs and this is still technically our activation but you should be starting to feel it this is going to wake up that lower ab area as we just worked into the mid abs and also the top abs take it for another three another two breathe for me another one now hold out to the side that leg stays up we meet the left hand with the right for five for four great job follow the eye line for three for two and one more touch those fingers and come back to the center now relax that leg down if you can just hold this position right here you've got a 10 second rest otherwise you can come up if you feel like you have to and we're gonna go over to that other side you've got five seconds until we go in where we kick and we open on that right in two in one we lift and kick open and close enjoy this burn this is just the beginning now i know right now you're probably at about a two to a four we are going to level this up and that five circuit i'm warning you now it is going to burn so a light to medium resistance today because i want you to have a nice range of range of motion open and close you're doing amazing open and close in three in two in one hold out to the side keep that leg lifted left hand meets the right for five come to center for four come to center great job three two more try to tap those fingers and one more tap come to center release that leg down and bring yourself up for me coming out of that lean back and we're going back into it however yep surprise right 
So we're gonna straighten those legs out right in front. We're actually gonna do the same exercise that we did previously. However, this time we're in this V-sit position. We're gonna lift the knee, clap under, and lean back. Alternating the sides, lift, clap, and lean. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great job, everyone. So we are already four minutes into our workout, which means things are about to get a little bit crazier. Now roll those shoulders back and down, breathe out as you come in. And if this is too much for you at any point, you can have those hands behind, simply crunch in and extend, crunch in and extend, still leaning back to your biting point. So I want you to lean back as far as you can without actually rolling backwards. Another five, four, three, two, and on one, just hold right here for three, for two, for one. Okay, relax yourself, give yourself that breather. We're going into our next exercise. Now from here, we're gonna take those legs, straighten them out once again. This time as we crunch in, palms face down, we lift one arm and bring it back down. Let's go to the right, we lift and lower. To the left, we lift and lower. Now come up as you crunch in and lean back even further as you come down. The further you lean, the harder it's gonna be. You should be feeling it in the lower out area, the V-line area, which is this area right here. It's a tough area to activate. It's a harder area to target. However, when you work into the core, when you activate the abs the right way, you're gonna start to feel it there. Keep on going. Whew. Five. Yeah, I feel this one. Four. Three. Two. And last one on that right now. Just hold right here for me for five, four, three, two, on one for that rest. If you can, let's lift those legs up and just hold in this V-sit position. If you are unable to, I just want you to hold that lean back. But our next exercise, we're gonna keep the arms in front. We open right, come to center, open left, come to center. Let's go. Drop the legs down if you need to. Open to the right, come to center, open to the left, come to center. Now working into that waistline, open and center, left and center, right, and center, controlling every motion, squeezing those abs. I want you to remind yourself as you go through this workout that you're squeezing the abs the entire way through. Open to center, left to center. Make it harder, lift the legs. Oh, that is a tough one. If you need to modify this and you feel like you can, you can bend the knees in as well, opening and closing. Make sure you're following your hand with your eyes, trying to tap the mat behind you for four, for three, for two, last one, and lower it down. Okay, how did that feel? It, it burns, right? So we're gonna continue working into the obliques, those side abs. I want you to come onto the forearms here, and this time, facing straight ahead, tuck the chin in towards the chest. We lift and hover the legs. We crunch in, extend to the right. Let's start in, extend to the left. Whew. Kind of rocking from hip to hip. So I want you to sort of twist your torso so that you're working into that waistline. How does this feel? You can start to feel the burn in your abs, right? Now, this is when I start to feel it in the obliques. As before, we were working into the lower ab area. That lower belly pooch is what it's called. I wish we had better names for the things we didn't like. <laughs> Keep going. Out, crunch in, extend, and in. And come to the left. Now hold and crunch for three, for two, for one. And let's bring it back in over to the right for three, for two, for one and come in towards the center. All right, everybody, we are gonna keep on going. We've got two more exercises here. We're gonna hover the legs out. This time we bring the knees in, extend, V out and in. In two, in one, let's go. Crunching the legs in, extending as low as you can while being able to squeeze and activate those abs. If you need to, you can come up to this 45 degrees. Come in, extend, come out, and in, take those legs nice and wide. This is gonna to start to wake up the thighs as well as we're going into those in our next circuit. And oh my gosh, I'm actually kind of scared. Because I know how bad it's gonna burn, but you're gonna stay here with me. We're gonna do this together. It's part of our holiday glow guide. In three, in two, in one, legs out and in for 10, nine, eight, seven, stay strong, six, five, four, three more, you've got this, two, Last one, bring those knees in for me and lower the feet down. All right, coming onto your back, I want your hands in a triangle shape, 
below the booty. We're gonna lift both legs up straight into the air, starting up here, lift the chest. We're gonna drop the right leg. As we do, the opposite leg comes down. So scissor kicking, one leg comes up, one leg comes down, trying to come as low as you can here without arching the back. So your back stays flat against the mat, tucking the chin in towards the chest, alternating that leg raise. Feel that burn, enjoy that burn. So this is the last exercise of circuit number one. From here on out, we've got 20 minutes left. So you've already made it a quarter of the way through your workout. Keep going, kick and kick. Now a little bit faster for the last 20 seconds. Let's try to ramp that up, get a little bit more of a burn, burn some calories up for 10, nine, eight, seven, almost there. Keep working hard, four, three, two, and one. All right, quickly pop your band on. I need a medium or light resistance. You want a range of motion for this one. Woo. And you're gonna come down onto your forearm or rest your head in your hand here. Now bend in that bottom leg. We flex the top foot, toe down, heel up. We arc forward and we come back. Let's get started. One, two, three, and four. I'm gonna grab a drink of water while we're right here. This circuit is about to get intense. The first two minutes, your booty and your thighs are gonna be like, yeah, I can handle this, no problem. Minute number three, I need you to push through. So I need you to get into your head right now that you're gonna keep on going. You're gonna stay strong for me. So relax that head down, squeeze the abs super tight. Core nice and tight here, squeeze that in. Belly button is towards the spine, brace it. For five, for four, for three, you're gonna have the option of a break, two, Last one forward, now take it back. I need you to point that toe, keep the leg lifted if you can. Otherwise, drop it down for that rest. But I would love for you to hold it up because that is gonna give you even more of a burn. Our next exercise, we did this in our last routine. We're gonna bicycle forward and bring it back. Let's get started. So coming forward, keeping the leg above hip level here. So you wanna be slightly above, keeping that height the entire time. Smooth, controlled motion. Upper body is not moving. Hand in front for support and just breathe it out. Enjoy the bird. For three, for two, on one, we take it the opposite direction. So we are actually going to spend, and I kind of didn't want to tell you this beforehand because I thought you might run away, five minutes on this side. We've got five exercises to do on this side. We repeat them on the other side. Whew. And then we go into our final circuit. But the good news is it's gonna go by pretty quickly. Four, three, two, on one. Now you can hold that leg up if you want, otherwise drop it down. Our next exercise, we're gonna reflex that foot, point the toes down, heel up, we come to the front, we're gonna circle for four, three, two, one, in four, in three, in two, in one, we circle forward. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. One, try to take those circles a little bit wider, pulling out against that band. This is going to absolutely kill your outer thigh, <laughs> but that is what we want. We wanna work into those hips, work into the thighs, and in four, in three, in two, in one other direction. Come on, keep that leg up. Do not let that foot hit the floor. I want that leg up. You've only got 15 seconds left. Two more exercises on the side, and then we can flip it over. You get a slight break in between. Four. Three, two, one, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm shaking and my hips burns. You can bring that leg in for me. We're gonna put a bend in both legs here. Now, if you want, you can come up here or you could stay it on the mat, but we are going to open, kick together, and close in three, in two, in one. We open, kick together, close. So you guys, I think you always know when I'm burning and when I'm kind of dying inside when my voice starts to crack. It's like, okay, she feels it too. And I gotta be honest with you, I practice these routines two to three times before I actually come and film them. Oh, and by the time I come to film them, I'm on like level three burn with you. So I'm pushing through this with you. Keep on going, you can do this. If you can, let's lift those toes up for the last 15 seconds. Lift the toes, open and close. <laughs> yep. We have a new rhyme today. Get your fitness face on. You know the fitness face I'm talking about, the one you don't want anybody to see on your Facebook profile pic, right? Open, close, kick, and together for three, for two, 
for one. Going into the inner thigh now, you can release that band. Just keep it wrapped around those legs. We'll be putting it back on for the next, next side that we do. We're gonna take that top leg and pop it over the bottom leg. Put a flex in your bottom leg. We lift, lift and lower. Let's go. Up, up and slowly lower. Up, up and slowly lower. Squeeze the inner thigh muscle. Lift the chest up. Ribs are not drooping down. I wanna see you lifted. And that foot is lifting as high as you can get it. Now, an option here, you can relax this knee over if that's more comfortable for you. In which case, I would have you lying, okay? Up, up, lower down. So you have that option. 20 more seconds to go. Flex that foot, straighten that leg, leg out even more. Up, up, and lower. Now come up, up, and hold. Pulse, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and hold. For three, for two, for one, lower it down, and quickly get yourself set up on your other side for me. Whew. Head in that hand, and leg bent at the bottom. Flex that top foot. In four, three, two, one. Toes down, heel up, we arc it forward, and we come back, great job. Okay, lift that foot up even higher. Squeeze those abs, and you need to have these tucked. Think about creating space between you and the mat, you and your waist. It doesn't mean you have to have a gap there. What I mean is you wanna think about squeezing that waist upward, working into the obliques, keep going. So, how's everybody's outer thigh feeling? Mine feels like it wants to fall off. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Keep going, lift that leg up. Four more exercises on this side, and then you've already made it to the last 10 minutes of your workout. Just think, you've got four exercises left. In five, four, turn that toe down. Three, two, on one, point the toe and keep that leg in hover if you can. If you need that break, please do take it. I'm not gonna scold you for it, though I would like you to keep on pushing. And our next exercise is size is those bicycles. Ba, 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 ba. In two, in one. We come to the front and we bicycle. Great job. Pulling that knee up, pulling against that band. Work against it. And if you feel like you have no burn going on right now, I need you to up the resistance on your band because it means you're basically, you're the Hulk. <laughs> Keep going. Extend forward and back. So I'm actually filming this. Oh, I'll tell you in a second. In three, in two, in one, take it in reverse. Okay, I distract myself with talking, but we need to get every move in. All right, I wanna make sure you're even. But I'm actually filming this the week before Thanksgiving, so tomorrow I've gotta make some, oh, all the bad stuff, guys. The twice baked cheesy potatoes. I gotta make turkey stuffed meatballs, or turkey sweet potato meatballs. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Three, two, one. Now hold it if you can. See, I just talked you through that burn. Keep that leg up. Don't drop that leg. Come on, let's work for it. And we've got eight seconds until we do those front circles. I want you to flex that foot, toe down, heel up. It helps us work into the glute meat, the side booty here. We come forward and circle. Four, three, two, one. So personal opinion, this is the one that absolutely kills, but we've only got to do it once. So keep that foot held high, circle it round, squeeze the abs in, oh my goodness. And in four, three, two, one, my booty's gonna fall off, reverse it. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Don't let your foot drop, come on, you can do this. Work hard, get that burn, get those results. This is actually how I fill in some of my hip dips, which by the way, has to do with our bone structure. We'll never completely get rid of it, but it's totally cool because it'll be in style one day, just like the Kim Kardashians of today and the 1990s pin thin, right? Keep going. All right, you've got that rest, let's take it back. Wake it up, give it a slap. We're gonna bend both of those legs, come up onto the forearm. We open, kick together, close. If your legs are still working, let's go. Open, kick together, close. Lift the rib cage up. Open, kick together, close. Bring those toes together. In the last 15, we're gonna try to lift those legs up, working even more in that burn. Now, if you're liking this so far, and you just stumbled in, you just found me, there is a guide in the links below. Those of you who are doing it already know, but the guide is gonna help you stay fit essentially through the month of December. I know we're towards the end, but you can do that guide at any time. That guide, you open it up, you click the links to each workout, you're just gonna do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, and believe me, my workouts work. Keep going. Lift those toes up if you can now. Open, kick together, close for five, four, three, 
two, last one, and lower it down. All right, we're gonna take that top leg out of that band. Keep that band where it is, we're gonna need it soon. We're gonna take that top leg over, relax that foot down, hand in front for support, flex the bottom foot, we come up, up, and lower, let's go. Up, up, and lower down. Think about using that inner thigh muscle. Think about that mind to muscle connection. Really squeeze it, straighten that leg out. Are you coming up as high as you can? Are you giving me everything you've got? Are you using this time to work on what you came here to work on? 30 minutes, might as well use it for what you came here for. Up, up, and slowly lower. It looks like my hair is slightly cooperating today. I wasn't sure, got a lot of flyaways, especially now that it's winter, it's just drying out like crazy. Any tips for that, by the way? I've tried coconut oil, it doesn't work for me. Keep going, 10 more seconds. We come up, we hold, now pump for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower. Last 10 minutes, final burner. Keep going, keep going, finish it. So the band comes back around the knees. We're coming into a V-sit position here. Bring your, the blades of your feet together on the mat. We bring the hands in front, trying to speak here, over to the left, center, open, close, to the right, center, open, close. If you want, you could use a heavier band for this technically, but we're twisting with those arms. So back to some of our original exercises, upping the intensity and now working into the thighs. Open, close, to the left, center, open, close, to the right, center, open, close. You've got 20 more seconds. Lean back a little bit further for me. Roll the shoulders down. Focus on those abs. Squeeze those in. Nice tight core. Should be burning, guys. To the right, center, open, close. To the left, center, open, close. Now stay here. Pulse out for five, four, three, two, one. And give yourself a moment. Okay, I know, we rolled right into our last circuit. Nine more exercises. So we're gonna straighten those legs out, this time flexing the feet. Let's bring those hands back in front. And also, weird tip, spread the butt cheeks on the mat. It's gonna help you, all right? So we're gonna roll back, we're gonna lift one leg, come down, out, and in, alternate. Up, lower, out, and in. Keep going while I <laughs> tighten my band a little bit because it actually feels like I could use a little bit more resistance here, but you've got 30 seconds. Keep going, up, lower, out, and in. Lean back, up, lower, out, and in. Another 25 seconds. You can do this, stay strong. We've only got a few exercises left. You've only got to do each of them one time through, and then bam, you're even closer to your results, the progress that you want. We're burning up calories, we're breaking up sweat, we're getting that mood boost. Now come up and out for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Okay, amazing, we're doing amazing. So we're gonna come onto our forearms this time. Again, bringing the legs and the toes together. This time, we lift into a crunch, we extend out against that fan, and we come out on a 45 degree. Let's go, so we come in, knees nice and wide, extending to that 45. If you want, you can also do this on your back. If you're doing that, I want you to lift the chest, hands are behind the head, come in, Extend about 45 degrees, working against that band, feeling that tension. After this exercise, in 30 seconds, I'm going to challenge you to hold this position with the knees wide because you're gonna feel that on the inner and outer thighs and we came here for a burn. I'm bringing you that burn. Out and extend. 15 more seconds. In five. In four. Face straight ahead. Chin is tucked in towards the chest. Three. In two, really work against it. Last one, two, three, and hold right here if you can. Our next exercise, we're gonna take that band, we're gonna pump out, out, and slowly in. In five, in four, keep that tension on it. Three, give me everything. Two, and one. Let's restart, bring the knees to center. Now come out, out, and slowly in. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven and eight, you should be feeling it on the inner thighs, possibly a little bit on the quads too. Come out, out and slowly in, in five. Give me four more reps here, four. Just focus, three. Come on, you got this, two. Last one, now bring the knees to center, left leg out, right leg stays for five, for four, for three, for two, for one, over to that right, for five, for four, 
for three, for two, for one. All right, great job, everyone. So this time we come onto our back. We're coming back into a tabletop position. I would like your hands to be out on the sides here. We lift both legs up. We extend the left leg out on the diagonal, extend, come in, together to the right, come out, extend, come in, together. This is a tricky one. If you want, you can also lift the chest here, but you're coming out to a 45 degree angle, so not straight ahead. You're working against that band, working the inner and outer thighs, working the abs, out, extend, come in, together, come out, extend, come in, together. You're so close to the end. Five more exercises, keep on working hard. 20 more seconds, think about it. Think about those 20 more seconds and then you get exactly what you want. I'm in the room with you, I'm telling you to keep on going. One, two, three, four, and four, three, two, one. Bring those knees in and give them a hug for me, okay? So this time, whoo, this is starting to burn. <laughs> We're gonna bring our legs straight up, our hands come behind the head, we come out, we crunch up, we come down, we come in. Let's go. Out, up, down, and in. Really try to get those shoulders up off the mat and try to make it a smoother move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pressing against the band, elbows are wide, shoulders coming up off the mat, working into the lower and the top abs. If you wanna make this harder, bring those legs to about a 45 degree. Up, crunch, lower and in. Eight seven, six, five, four, three, two on one. Bring the arms in front, open the legs. We reach up and we lower for five, for four, reaching through those legs for three, for two, for one, and lower it down. I want you to flip over for me. Again, keeping that band where it is. We're gonna come into a bare plank position. You've got three more exercises. Come on, work for it. So we're gonna come into this bear plank, meaning hands right below the shoulders. If you're just starting out, this is too much, stay on the knees. Otherwise, I want you up onto those toes. Now hold for four, for three, for two. On one, we take that right leg out towards the side and alternate to the left, out towards the side, tapping out to the, to the diagonal, squeezing the abs in. This is gonna work into the inner thighs, all right? It's also gonna work into the outer thighs and bonus points, the lower abs, keep going. 20 more seconds, in six, in five, in four, three more. Come on, tap out nice and wide. Two, last one, now come to the center, hold, knees out and in for the last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming down onto your knees now. <laughs> We're gonna flex the right foot. We're going into a fire hydrant, then we've got our final two exercises. So this fire hydrant, flex the foot, we come out towards the side, hold and lower, switching it halfway, in two, in one. We lift, pump, slowly lower. Lift, pump, slowly lower, facing down at the mat, shoulders back and down, straight line from hand to shoulder, slight bend in those elbows. 10 more seconds, and then quickly switch sides. In five, two, four, three, Two, one, relax that other foot, flex the left, up, pump, and slowly lower. 20 more seconds, get into your head right now. We've got two more exercises to go. Whatever that exercise is, no matter how hard it is, you're gonna try to do it. Up, up, and slowly lower in five, four, three, two, on one, lower that leg down, and I want you to turn around. We're going into our side plank. You can take that band off if you need to, but I'm encouraging you to keep it on, onto the forearm. So let's get into position. Beginners, you're right here, and I just want you to hold this position. Otherwise, come into that plank for me. Now hold for five, four, falling off my mat, two. On one, I want you to take that top leg and pop it onto your calf, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the hand behind, we dip, tap our knee to the mat, and lift and open. Clamming open, pulling against that band. Dip and lift, last, last exercise after this. And we've gotta even it out. Work for it, I know it's tough. Rotate, tap, and lift for five. Whew, for four, I feel it too, keep working. For three, 
for two. Oh my goodness, last one. Lift and lower yourself down, going on to our other side. You know the drill, we're gonna hold, hold, and then we're gonna dip and open. Get ready in five, four, three, two, one. Come up onto those toes, hold for five, for four, for three, for two, on one, take that top leg, pop it onto the calf, hold for five, four, three, two, finish it. One, we dip, we lift, hand behind the head. Dip, lift and open against that band. This is working into the obliques, it's working into the thighs, it's also covering some of the glutes. We're working into the upper body, the arms. Consider this your full body exercise. The last one you have to do today for five, for four, for three, two more, come on, lift higher. Two, and one, lift it, and lower down. All right, everybody, I am so proud of you. Don't forget to find me on Instagram and TikTok where I give you new exercises every day, and share this workout with someone that you think might need it. Woo! Have a great day. Congratulations, everyone, on finishing your workout. Now, let me know in the comments on a scale of one to 10, how crazy was circuit number two because my thighs were crying by the end of that one. Now, we've only got a few more workouts left to go. Next week is our last workout of the Holiday Glow Guide where we will be doing a weights versus cardio routine. So you definitely don't wanna miss that. Until then, just keep following the guide that I've given you. Smash that thumbs up button for me before you go. Subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on so you don't miss next week because I'll be announcing what our next series is gonna be. All right, everybody, thank you for joining me and have a beautiful day.